In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a mobile spy camera. First step is whatever initialization you need to do. For what I'm doing, it's just say it, setting a player variable to false, which will basically tell it if the camera exists. Then for deploying it, I have it on secondary with Reaper because there's nothing else there. And then for holding secondary and the variable we just set to false is false. It will set another variable at your position and it'll create an effect. You want to do it slightly up. <coughs> that way if it's a sphere like this it'll be the whole sphere above the ground. You could do it without multiplying it by up. But then it'd just be, you know, half a sphere. Then you just do a if you do bring it up bring it up multiplied by however big the radius is. And then set the first variable to true saying that the camera now exists. Then for viewing and moving, are you crouching and does the camera exist? Start forcing throttle. If you set everything to zero, we'll make it so that you can't move. Then disable all the abilities. Disallow the jump button so you can't jump. And then start camera at the I position of the variable that we set at the beginning doing it at that A without having the up to it we'll put it slightly below the sphere that we created before then we have a look at position adding the A you add that to a multiplication of the facing direction of the event player and a thousand so you'll just look wherever you would be looking if you were at the sphere and then to do the moving around it's a little complicated and this is to do it kinda like a drone as opposed to an RC car because that would be even more complicated because keeping it on the ground isn't as simple as you think at least as far as I know and it'd be a lot simpler if you could just set one part of a vector at a time so you could always put the up and down part of it to the ground but since you can't edit one of those at a time you can do it like a drone set another variable to the right cast hit position starts at wherever your camera is ends at the addition of where the camera is multiplied by facing direction of the event player and a thousand just like where you just like how you would set up for looking and then chase the position of the camera to the looking direction of it. The rate will be how fast you move. Have a little weight and then loop so you'll always be in control. Then after that you'll either you'll want it to either last for a certain amount of time or go away if you stop fulfilling the conditions. So for after time You'll, it'll be the same conditions to call for as looking through it but you'll have a wait set at the beginning for however long you want to allow it to be set the camera position to a vector of all zeros so it's completely out of the way set B to false saying the camera no longer exists so it won't go back to the 
previous rule. Stop forcing throttle so you can move again. Re-enable all the abilities. Allow the but the jump button again. Stop camera and destroy the effect describing the location of it for everyone else. Then you have whenever you're no longer crouching but the camera was still in place. Wait a second just so you have time when you initially set it up to do this to use it and just to make sure it won't get rid of it too fast abort if this is no longer false after this one second if you take if you do it after this second you would have to right click again to set up the camera you can adjust the timing of that however you want just like the speed and stuff and then just like in the last rule set A to 0, B to false, stop th throttle, re-enable everything, stop camera, and destroy effect. So I'll show it off real quick. Right click and then crouch. See the little sphere above me and it goes wherever I look. and after a little bit it goes away. If I do it again I'll show it going away before that when I stop crouching and the thing with this is unless walls have been made to be like double sided by Blizzard themselves for things like symmetric turret glitches where they could see through the wall if you did it right unless it's one of those walls can go through them and there's no easy way to take care of that without setting all of the uh, walls and not allowing you to go through them but that's a pain in the butt so just be aware of that and because of that you can go into the enemy spawn with that which is a little cheap but until they make it easier to edit vectors and stuff it's about as well as you're going to do it without putting way more time into it than you real, really want to do but hey Till then, does work pretty well. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.